Welcome back to the channel. So here's the quick review of the Panerai Pam 112. Dimensions 44 millimeter across, 53 millimeters from tip to tip, 14.8 millimeters in thickness, and then 24 millimeters lug width. Super easy to strap change, to, to put different straps on here, make strap changes. Uh, you could do like a leather which a lot of people put leather straps on them. I love it on the rubber. Um, beautiful signed tang buckle. What I love about these so much is just how simplistic they are. The 112 and the 111 are my favorites. So the 111 will have the running seconds here on the left side um, where the nine o'clock is. Um, I really love this dial because uh, it's just no nonsense. And it does have that luminescent, uh, luminescent disc underneath the dial and it's got super bright loom so we're going to check that out as well um, of course you have a manual wind movement this is not in-house this is an eta movement and it keeps excellent time great amplitude running like within a couple seconds per day so very very nice but uh, very cool watch. I, in my opinion, I believe it's one of the first real dive watches. I know the, the first one, um, if you search enough, you'll find first dive watch was the Omega Marine. Um, but this one predates it by a few years. Uh, this one, not this particular model here, but the original Panerai, the original radio mirror, they were the first ones made by Rolex, pretty much used pocket watch movements, pocket watch cases, and they uh, welded on some wire lugs and took them down into the ocean to fight the British. So the, the Italian frogmen did it. So I think that's really cool. Uh, Panerai has an amazing history and that's what I really love about it. Let's put it on my seven and a half inch wrist. On my quick. seven and a half inch wrist, fits perfect. Some people might think they're just too big. Um, it's kind of like a slab side watch, but you know what, if you wear a Tudor, like a Black Bay or something, this actually conforms to the wrist better in my opinion and it just fits better. I, I really like it. It's a good looking watch on the wrist. It's um, really quite cool. And these rubber straps are very soft, very supple um, and thick. They're not cheap. Beware of the ones on eBay too that are for 50, 60 bucks. Those are going to be replicas. This is an original. But um, just keep an eye out for that if you are a Paneristi or a Panerai fan. Um, but look at that dial, matte black dial. Look at those cutouts, just gorgeous. Love to look at that. I just find myself staring at this thing. Let's check out the loom real quick. Just amazing loom, super bright and all evenly applied. It's a torch. Anyway, this is my review of the Panerai Pam 112. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.